How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the recently released Switch port of the game. Now as somebody that's been following Dragon Ball Fighters since it was first revealed to the general public, a Switch release was definitely high on the things I saw a lot of fans asking for. And that's why I'm so happy that I'm able to say that they nailed the transition from consoles and PC to Switch. During my playtime with the Switch there were a lot of times when I just completely forgot which console I was on. And this is coming from somebody that plays on the Xbox One and PC versions of the game fairly frequently. Pretty much everything available to you in the other versions of the game can be found within the Switch version. Everything from the lobby to the game modes to even the online runs pretty much identical to the game's counterparts. And the thing that really shocked me when I first started playing was just how good the game looked on Switch. Obviously the Switch gets a bad rap for when games are ported over, they kind of lose some graphical qualities, but it's clear that the team here took a lot of time and effort to make sure that the game looked just as good across all of the versions of the game. Which is important because I feel like a lot of of the fun from Dragon Ball Fighters comes from seeing these really heavily referenced cinematic moves. And I'm also really happy to say that the unique selling point of the Switch of being able to take it on the go does apply here for fighters as the game runs just as good and looks just as good when the Switch is undocked. This is probably the part that shocked me the most. Me and my friend just popped it right out of the console and then went to a different room and played the game. And it was just like we were playing it on the big screen, albeit of course we were hunched over looking at a tinier screen. But overall I found the experience of playing undocked was pretty fun. I'm not sure when I'll ever use this feature myself personally, but who knows, maybe if I ever take the Switch on a camping trip, this would be a good thing to bust out with six controllers and play 3v3 locally. And speaking of controls, now we can get into the somewhat dicey part of this port. Now if you're somebody that plays fighting games a lot like me, you probably heard that Dragon Ball Fighters was coming to the Switch, and your first thought was, oh man, I really need to buy an adapter. These Joy-Cons really aren't the first thing that come to your mind when you think intense fighting games. And unfortunately, that thought is for good reason, as during my time I'm playing with the Joy-Cons, I kept thinking that I would rather be using any other controller, but I do feel that after a while I did get the hang of them and I could pretty much do any combo I could normally do, just some of the technical stuff was really getting away from me on these Joy-Cons. Now something that I will totally stand up for is that the experience of playing on only one Joy-Con turned on its side was actually surprisingly good, and I'm not saying it's better than using a controller, but I thought this was going to be the worst part of the experience by far popping these out and playing with a friend undocked and we each only got one, I'm surprised at how smooth the experience was. I do feel like this is partly due to how Dragon Ball Fighters lays out its controls. Everything is available to you with the click of either one button or two buttons, and then you'll have those two bumpers on top of the controller to call an assist, and the whole thing feels really streamlined. Now again, I'm not saying this is better than playing with a normal controller or a fight stick, but I am saying that if you want to do 3v3 with some friends, having six of these controllers is probably the best way to go about it. And one last thing I want to talk about on controls is the Switch version is the only version of the game to have a simple command list. And I really don't get the purpose of this at all. And to me, this is the furthest thing away from simple. It turns the whole game on its head. Now you have to hold directions and buttons in order to get simple commands like Super Dash and Dragon Rush to come out. I'm really not sure who the target audience for this is. I mean, quarter circles are the basic building block of fighters. They shouldn't really be too hard. And really, it would only take a couple seconds to learn. I probably even less time than learning how to master all these commands. If you want to super dash normally, you hit two buttons at the same time, same thing for Dragon Rush, and on here you have to memorize which direction to hold and which button it is. I don't know, maybe that's just me having so much experience with the normal controls, but the simple control mode just felt like a bust to me. Another negative that comes to mind is when loading into popular lobbies, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuttering. More so than any other version of the game that I've played. The loading screens on the Switch are also far from the best. There will be times when you'll just be stuck on this black screen for a decent while, about equal to the Xbox One in my experience. And of course, let's finish up by talking about the online of the game. It's pretty much just the same as the other versions. It's delay based, so it's gonna depend on how you and your opponent uh, connect to each other, how far away you are, etc. But I found that it did work pretty effectively, although the number at top seems to lie more than any other version. For example, this match shows two frames, but it was definitely a little more than that. It felt like the system was chugging. But for every one bad game, I found five other great ones. So, so the Switch version gets a pass from me there as well. Guys, overall, I feel like the Switch version has gone far and above my expectations for it. I was, I'm gonna be honest, I was totally expecting this to crash and burn. You know, my experience with Switch ports in the past hasn't been the best 
best, obviously, but man, I, I'm just super excited that the game looks so good on the Switch and it runs well undocked, which I'm sure is the main reason why a lot of people are going to pick this version up anyway. So guys, if you were hoping to get the Switch to run it offline and undocked and just have a way to play Dragon Ball Fighters on the go, I would say the Switch version is a massive success and I would definitely recommend you pick it up. And of course, just at the end here, just in case, if you didn't like Dragon Ball Fighters on PC, Xbox, or PS4, you're probably not going to like it on the Switch. It's pretty much just the same game. I know that sounds pointless, but just in case anybody watched this and was like, all right, I'll give it one more chance. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on the Switch version one way or another and try it out for yourselves. Let me know down in the comments if you have the game and what you think of it so far and what your experience has been. I'll be down there as always. And hey, while you're down there, if you like this video and want to support the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And hey, maybe click on another video or two. Uh, they should be on your screen right about now. Thank you so much, guys. I'm Dr. Doya and I'll see you in the next video.